My name's Edo Vanderveer. I'm one of the founders of Rune Labs uh, and CEO. Um, Rune's fairly new to the market over the last three, four years, uh, but this team that's responsible for it has been together for quite a while. It started actually exactly 20 years ago um, when I met my business partner, Danny Dulai, who's, uh, he and I had sort of very different problems to solve in the music and audio space, but we each had these pet problems and we decided to solve them together. So my issue was that uh, I had a substantial CD collection, probably three or 4,000 CDs. Um, it took up all these shelves, it took up a whole wall of my apartment. Um, and what I found was that I had a two channel system in the, sort of in the next room, the living room, and at any given time, there'd be a little stack of five or six discs sitting next to the stereo. And that was what was in rotation at that time. And that's all I got to listen to because I was too lazy to go to whatever. Anyway, um, the point is I wasn't enjoying, wasn't extracting the benefit from this investment I had made in this, in this music collection. So that was kind of my issue. How can I listen to more of my music? How can I experience more? Um, Danny's issue was completely different. He was less concerned about lossless and CD quality and large collection, but he wanted to have audio in every room. He wanted to have music playing in the bathroom and in the kitchen and all over the place. That was his, his thing. Um, so we figured, well, these are two sides of the same coin. We'll, we'll work on these things together. The product that we developed, um, we launched years later in 2006 um, as Sulus, which was a, a hardware music server. Um, <clears throat> hardware because in those days, there were no smartphones yet and no tablets and touch computing was still kind of weird. And um, So we built all the gadgets that did the stuff. We built the touchscreen kiosk and the storage devices where you, today you would have a NAS. Uh, we built the audio endpoint boxes. Um, and it was a multi-room CD quality music server. But uh, that was sort of the plumbing end of it. That's what it did. It would play your CD quality music all around your house. But what the product really was from the user's point of view was it was a, a user experience. So what we found, or what I found in beginning to solve my problems, I ripped all of my CDs. Now, forgetting for a moment that iTunes choked on 3,000 albums, once you could look at it, what you ended up seeing was something that looked more like a spreadsheet. It was like a, just a list of stuff. Um, which, to me, was kind of, you know, where's the cover art, where are the liner notes, where's all the stuff that I consider to be part of the music? None of that was available. So I thought that the experience that we, were, we should be looking for was reproducing something closer to looking through an LP, vinyl LP jacket, you know, where you actually have the lyrics and the credits and all that stuff um, while you're listening. That was the experience I remember from childhood when I collected LPs. So that was kind of our starting point. That's what the experience should look like. But then it shouldn't be like a keyboard and mouse and point and click. We wanted it to be tactile, so we would do this touchscreen thing. And the idea was that whole user experience was driven by album art. So you'd see all your albums, you could just touch them, you could see who played on them, all that kind of stuff. And it was the only thing like it at the time. We launched it in 2006. In 2008, um, Sulis was acquired by Meridian. We were acquired by Meridian, and the idea was we were a small team that knew nothing about building hardware. So we said, Meridian will take over that end of it, and we'll just get on with making the software end of it, which is really what, what my team does. Um, so we did that and we, we extended that Sulu's product line with Meridian. Um, and then we, we got this kind of weird oddball opportunity out of nowhere, which is that HP got in touch with Meridian and said, we need a music player app for our computers. Um, this is pre-Windows 10, so there, were no, there was no built-in music player, um, aside from Windows Media Player. And um, <clears throat> so we built that for them. Which, and then uh, at the end of 2014, we were sort of figuring out what are we going to do next, what's the product we'd really like to make next out of this HP thing is winding down. And what we decided was we wanted to go back to our roots and go back to the enthusiast, music collector, audiophile, and that's what we all um, and make a product for them. But it, I'll explain in a moment, it made sense for us to do that outside of the, an audio brand. So we, we made an arrangement to spin up a radio, become completely independent, and start this new company, which is Rune Labs. So, in terms of what Rune is, you can think of it as being three things. The first part, and to me, of course, the most important part, is that it's, a, it's an experience. It's a way to browse music and to interact with a music collection. Um, it's a way to discover new music. It's everything about how you browse.
then it's also a network music system. So it will stream to all kinds of devices around your home, and that, that's kind of the objective. On the content side, we'll recognize your files, whether they're ripped CDs or high-res downloads or whatever, streams from Tidal, internet radio. So we'll, Room will figure out all your content on the one side and then stream it to all your devices around your house. Um, and then the third part is that it's really a, it's become quite a community of, of partner audio brands that have all gotten together and said, this is the best way to browse music and we want to make our hardware supported and